stock market is seeing a lot of losses lately. Financial author Gary Kautbaum tells Fox Business it's the tech sector that's pulling everything down. And everything I'm seeing right now continues to state bear market. And as I put in my reports, and these numbers are stunning, 50% uh, of NASDAQ stocks are down 50%. 22% of them are down 75%. So I'm worried there's more to go. You just take a step back, let it go through the process. It just looks like to me, uh, we're not uh, done yet. So there it is again, hang in there, it'll come back. Statistically, that may be true, but why is that message not very comforting to people on the edge of retirement? <laughs> well, it's not always true. Uh, the Nikkei index is an interesting index. If you're, you know what the Nikkei is? I do, yeah, N-I-K-E-A. How do you know that? I'm so I'm I'm so stocks. impressed. Thanks, Goodness man. gracious! Do you want a job? We we can show you how you can. What do you pay? <laughs> that depends how hard you work. <laughs> you would have to train me. You'd have too much time and training on me. Man. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we'd be you're, there. You're we'd be expert. here like six years later. I'm like, so no, that's a Roth. An IRA works like this. No, I wouldn't. You, I'm the DJ. You're the rapper. You'd, you you yeah exactly. You you'd pick up quick. Um, so the Nikkei index, well, it's Nikkei 225 now, but the Nikkei index is a Japanese stock index, right? And in 1989, it was 38,915. Today, it's 26,911. Oh, wow. So 1989, 2022 to 1989. <laughs> so that whole thing about... Well, the market always returns yeah, back. Not necessarily. It always. Okay. Well, think about how. And if you look before that, by the way, in uh, 85, 86, 87, 88, it was 27, 13,000 in 85. And then the next year, it's 17,000. It's going up like skyrocketing. Yeah. Parabolic, right? And what do you think happens when people, when pe everybody hears, I made them a million dollars yesterday in that tech stock? What do you think happens? Everybody jumps in. Absolutely. That's what drives it up. So it, it it creates this bubble. Everybody puts in at the top and they sell out at 30. You know, everybody loses. Every, not sell out, but they buy in at 35, 36,000. And they still haven't made their money. Back. Yeah. And and it went down all the way to 9,000. I shouldn't laugh about that. That's a serious thing. But yeah. Right. But uh, no, there was a lot of investors that. And so that's that's. Where I don't it, hear about the Nikkei that much anymore. <laughs> well, it's an index. It's just another index. There's a ton of index all over the world. Yeah. Right. But it is uh, when you go onto like CNBC or whatever, and you click on international, it's one of the main indexes that okay. are, are shown. Um, you know, it's Japanese only. But the idea is, um, you know, to say that the market always comes back, or it's all, or it's like this quick rebounding like COVID. That's not always the case either. In 2008. It took forever to get people's return back. It was 07 at 1500. It was, I think it was six years before to get back. Five, let's see. It looks about six. Yeah. Five and a half, six years just to break even. Mm -hmm. Most people aren't going to hold on that long. Yeah. Right.